is Lisa with JDS Industries, and today I'm going to show you how to use the print merge function in CorelDRAW. If you have any questions about this process or any others, you can email us at sublimation at jdsindustries.com. The print merge tool is a very useful tool in that when you have uh, more than one plate with different information, but you want to put them all on a single play page or have multiple pages with one plate with different information, this is uh, really helpful to do that uh, more quickly and efficiently rather than just free typing in each uh, of the information on each individual plate. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to start um, by creating your artwork like you normally do, including all the text that you want to put in there. And definitely uh, go ahead and format your text with the colors and fonts and whatever uh, else you need to put on there. Um, next thing you do, uh, the piece that um, you're going to, uh, it's going to be different on each plate, you want to take that piece of the text, and this is grouped, so I'm going to ungroup it, take that part of the text, and you just pull that off to the side because we will refer back to that later when we're formatting our placeholder. Um, the first two lines, they're going to be the same on all the plates. The only difference is that the names are going to change. So that's the part we need to pull off. Okay, the next step, um, if you have more than one plate you want on a page, um, the next thing you need to do is you need to make your document size about the same size as your plate, maybe a little larger if you want uh, space in between each plate. If you have just uh, um, want to put a single plate on each page, like a larger, maybe an 8 by 10 plate, but you have multiple pages you need to do, then you can skip this step. So let's see, we've got a, our document size right now is uh, it's under, we'll make this a, a 6 by 6 by 2. Um, for our document size. Okay, you can see how that shrank that down. Okay, and then the next thing uh, we'll, we'll need to do is we'll need to go over, um, if you have all your, your names in a like an Excel document or something like that, um, you need to switch over to that. And so you can see here how we formatted this, and I've only got 10 names, but you can do as many as you need to do. Um, so we, you definitely need to have a header on the very top um, cell, and then you have your list of names. Okay. Next thing you want to do, um, because the print merge function only allows certain formats, and like an Excel, or um, like here I have a, I'm using an Open Office, which is like a free version of Excel. Um, it doesn't like those those file types. There's only a few that it will take. Um, so we need to do a file and save as. And we're going to save this not as an Excel. We're going to actually save this as a text CSV file or .CSV. That's one of them it will actually take. And you can leave the, the file name the same. Okay. And it will give you some other options for exporting the text file, but just hit OK. And OK, and then go back over to our Corel file. And then our next step is we're going to actually start performing the print merge. So go to File, Print Merge, Create, Load, Merge Files. Okay. Now there's two ways you can actually bring in your, your information. You can either freehand type it in to the print merge uh, tool here or you can actually import a file. Just depends on how many, how much information you need to bring in. Probably if you just have a few names then yeah, go ahead and do a create new text and just freehand type it. Otherwise if you have four or five hundred names you need to do definitely would use an import. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select find the file that we have um, all our names in and it's not up here yet because it's looking actually looking for a rich text format so we just need to make it look for a CSV file and there it is. Go ahead and select it and then hit next. You can see here on this uh, this page it shows us what the field names are going to be. It's going to be player name and the type of information that's in each field and those it's text. 
Now if you're freehand typing this, go ahead and type in the, the field name and then hit add and that'll you can do and you can do multiple fields. You don't necessarily have to do just one. Okay, so then we'll hit next. And you can see here it shows all our names that we had in each field. And if you were freehand typing this, this is where you would just type it in, hit enter, type the next one in. And then hit next. And now we don't, because we did a, brought a file in, we're not going to do a save our data settings. If you're freehand typing it, then yes, you would want to, to save those settings. Go ahead and hit finish. And that's going to bring up a dialog box for the print merge. And you can see here under field, there's our header, the player name. So we're going to select that and hit insert. And you can see here it, it created a placeholder for that name that we were going to be bringing in. So let's bring back that, uh, that formatted text and we're just going to format our, our player name placeholder as the same as our text that we had originally formatted. So we've got uh, collegiate FLF at 24 points, uh, black and white, and with a four point outline on it and it's behind the fill. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do that. There's 24 points, black fill with a white outline, and we're going to put it behind the fill, and it was a four point outline. Okay, and you can see the little uh, brackets disappeared around that, and that's fine, That's it'll still work. So we'll go ahead and place this where we want it. And the last thing we need to do is we need to align this to the center because that way um, the player name will actually stay centered underneath the League Champs and Mighty Tigers. Otherwise, it's going to align. If you line it left, it's going to be off center. So let's press it just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. And let's move this guy uh, way off to the side again. Okay, so now we're ready to print. Only it's actually not going to print, it's going to perform the print merge. Let's go ahead and click print. And it'll bring up your regular print dialog box. And so go ahead and you can format your, we're going to put this on white metal, and we're going to do saturated. And we're only doing letter size. Okay, the only difference here is you can see there's 10 pages, and that's because we only have one plate on each page at the current time. Now, this would be fine if you had a large plate with just, you know, you just needed 10 pages of one plate with different names on it. You could go ahead and print at this point. However, we want more than one of these smaller plates on a page. So, how do we get there? So, you want to go ahead and hit Print Preview. And then over here, underneath the pick tool, there is another tool. It's called the imposition tool. And that'll uh, help us to impose the number of plates we want on the page. So go ahead and click that. Then go up here where it says edit basic settings. And you want to edit margins. Okay, and you can see these two little buttons to the, to the right of this. Uh, one will place the, the plate up in the corner or what the other will place it in the center. Center is fine. So then go over to the custom drop down and this is going to tell us how many we want on a page and how many columns, how many columns and rows we want on a page. So because I know we can only fit one column, we're going to start with that and then we'll change the number of rows we have on there. And I know we can fit it, it fit six on a page. So we're going to change our number of rows to six. Hit enter, and then go back to your pick tool, and that'll show you all the plates with all the different names on it. If you go down to the bottom here, it shows signature one and signature two, and if you click signature two, it shows the rest of them. So we'll make a signature for 
however many pages uh, that you'll end up needing. Okay, you can go ahead and print from here if you're ready, or if you notice, oh, I forgot a name, so we need to edit. So hit this last button up at the top, or you can hit Alt-C, and that'll take us back to the, the print screen dialog box. So if we need to make a change, go ahead and hit Cancel, and then go up to Edit Fields, and it takes us back to where we would uh, put in the, the header, the field names. Go ahead and hit next. And if we need to add a name, just go down to that last one, hit enter, and it opens up a new field. Okay, we forgot someone named Ryan Olson. And just hit next and finish. And then we'll do another print merge. And again, go into your print preview, go to your imposition. Edit basic settings to edit margins, and then change your imposition. So we can still only fit six on a page, but it's going to fit more. On the, it'll fill up the pages. Okay, so we hit enter, then go back to your pick tool, and there's our first page and our second page with the new name on there, Ryan Olson. Okay, so we can either again go ahead and hit print, or return to our print dialog box if we need to make any changes in there. Otherwise, you can go ahead and hit print, and you are finished. Thanks for watching. This has been Lisa with JDS Industries. For more information, you can visit our website, jdsindustries.com sublimation for more information. Thank you.